important topic uh, in these times, as I certainly visit our suppliers, suppliers, and our customers, customers. Um, I'm constantly inundated with folks who have new ideas, uh, new projects that are just waiting to get off the ground. And I think we're on the verge of, of another key wave of innovation uh, in this country, um, providing we get the environment right for that. So um, I can't think of a more important topic at this point. Uh, our keynote speaker, Chris Galvin, is co-founder of Harris, Harrison Street Capital LLC, uh, co-founder and principal of Harrison Street Real Estate Capital LLC, executive chairman and co-founder of Unique Soft Incorporated, a real-time software authoring services company, and chairman of Cleversafe Incorporated, a digital storage company. Chris is also a, uh, a member of numerous boards and uh, committees, which uh, again are outlined in the uh, conference uh, information. His former relationships include chairman of NAPTEC, the leading supplier of global digital mapping databases, chairman and CEO of Motorola Incorporated, member of Bechtel Corporation's Board of Councillors, chairman of the US China Business Council, uh, and um, a director of the RAND Corporation. Uh, unreported by the uh, general press or Motorola's board of directors, Chris Galvin led one of the top five turnarounds since 1990 of a global high technology company larger than $5 billion in revenue. This was verified in an empirical study of a large tech company turnarounds assessing 13 performance measures by Monitor uh, Global Business Networks Incorporated. I had the great honor to meet and work with Chris and his dad, Bob, Bob Galvin, many times during my tenure in Motorola. I will also mention that I'm married to Galvin, my wife, Martina. We have been trying for years to find a link to Chris's family tree, but have not managed it yet. Uh, I am convinced there is something there because at a reception many years ago in Dublin to celebrate the opening of a new facility, my wife and I arrived at the event where there were over 400 people and Bob Galvin spotted my wife from across the room. He had met her at a previous dinner the previous night. And uh, he came right across the room, grabbed her by the elbow, and commented that he had felt another Galvin had entered the room. <laughs> <laughs> so I will continue to do with the search, Chris. <laughs> Motorola Company, uh, that three generations Galvin's built, was built on the idea of ideas, and a team of very talented people. It had a rich portfolio of products, everything from batteries to cell phones to satellites. In a book recently called Comebacks, Chris talks about what he missed most when he left Motorola, and I quote, I did lose one thing that was dear to me, the opportunity to create innovation and contribute to the world in partnership with a great team at Motorola. Chris, I cannot think of anyone who has done more to create innovation and contribute to the world than you and the Galvin family. You had a huge network of people inside and outside of Motorola, including me, who have been touched by the spirit of innovation and renewal, and who would not trade one minute of that experience for anything. Ladies and gentlemen, it, was great, it, was, it is with great personal pleasure I introduce Chris Gallagher.